Pray for the word. Okay, amen. I think you are the people. I don't look for another, amen? amen. You say, I, I, I see thousands. Praise the Lord. Amen. I see thousands because I see, I learned a long time ago. Each person can reach about 100, amen? amen. And so there's thousands that are on inside of you. And so God is amazing and he's moving on inside of you. And so there's a powerful word. As we get ready to wrap up this series on forgiveness, so amazing. Just open your heart to receive from Him. Hallelujah. And I know others, some may be coming in. Good to see you, Adrian. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see those beautiful babies. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's go ahead and get into the Word. We've been dealing with how to forgive. How to give forgiveness to others. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Are y'all ready for the word? Yeah. Let me, has this series been helping you? Yeah. Amen? Now, hopefully, amen. Hopefully you learn, and I've learned, you know, I, again, I've been teaching for years and taught on forgiveness, and Demar was saying, so Pastor, you've preached on forgiveness before, but this one's really hit me. Amen? And I'll tell you something. For me, it's hitting me too. Every time I teach, I look for it to transform me on the inside, too, because I don't want to just go through and having a religious experience. So I'm just going to ask the Holy Spirit to open our hearts right now so we can really hear from him and get beyond Howard, get beyond me, and you see the Christ and let him speak to you directly. Amen? Amen. So, Father, we just thank you right now. We honor you for your presence. God, when we think about where you've brought us from, when I think I know how good I look now, spiritually, but I know where I used to be. And Lord, I thank you for this 25-year journey, God. You've been so faithful, so faithful, faithful, God. Thank you for doing it, Lord. And Lord, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would just speak to our hearts right now. Howard sits down. Holy Spirit, you stand up. Speak to each and every person individually, like only you can. In Jesus' name. Come on, saints, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. I just love saying in Jesus' name. The Bible says the devil trembles at the name of Jesus. Amen? And so I love to say it. I'll say it as much as I can, even in my house, because I like, the, I like God's presence to be there. Amen? Look with me, if you will, Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 through 15 have been our foundational scriptures, and we're going to be also looking in Genesis today. But we said, and we've been saying for the last couple of weeks, we've been on this series, it's about our sixth week on this series. We said, unforgiveness is like, let's say say it together. We should have it memorized by now, right? Unforgiveness is like drinking poison and expecting the other person to die from it. Drinking poison and expecting the other person to die from it. How many know God has not called you to drink poison? He's called you to have life and life more abundantly. The the, the Bible says the devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. So his threefold mission is to try to kill you, destroy you, and steal life away from you. Amen? Amen? But God came that you may have life and life more abundantly. Matthew chapter 6 Verses 14 through 15, he says, if you forgive those who sin against you, and if, uh, and if Jamal and Asap, if you can come up here real quickly, and we, just to demonstrate one last time, as quick as you can, if you forgive those who sin against you, your heavenly Father will forgive you, but if you refuse to forgive others, your Father will not forgive your sins. Amen? Amen. So if you can, come on, one on each side of me right, right quick, praise God for the video. So, guess what? If I want my vertical relationship with God to stay intact, I have to keep my horizontal relationship intact. So, I've got to stay in covenant. Come on, give me fist fist bump me right quick. I don't want to hold hands, praise God. But, is that all right? (laughs) But, guess what? If I want to keep this intact, I got to, guess what? I got to keep this intact in order to keep this intact. Amen? Amen? Can't get mad at ASAP. Stop 
I don't want nothing to do with him, and, and expect this to be right. Yes. You got to keep this right. Yes. Amen? Yes. Amen. Give them a hand clap. Thank you. That was real. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we learned that. And we see we formed a cross. That vertical, up and down. Amen? Let's keep going. Holding on to vengeance is the source of bitterness, but releasing vengeance through forgiveness is the antidote to bitterness. Does everybody see that? Yes. When you hold on and cling to vengeance, and we're going to find we, on, on Wednesday night we learned what vengeance was, right? We learned it's trying to, you know, you, you, when you don't release people out of the hurt that they've caused you. You say, I'm going to handle it for myself. You know, some people are motivated by vengeance. I don't know why I'm here, but some of us, some people are motivated. They use vengeance. I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them that I'm, no, 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 no. See, anger and bitterness, it can take you to a certain point, but it always drops you and leaves you empty. God wants you to be moved by hope and love. Not I'm going to show them. I'm going to see what's on the inside of me. Are, are you with me? Because you're rediscovering who you are in Christ. God already made you this way, but how many know when you become born again and come to the Lord, you have to rediscover who you are, who's the real Howard? You got to rediscover that old you, that one that gets mad, that one that had, was short-tempered, that one that had an attitude problem, that one, that's not the real you. The real you is the one that you're discovering in Christ that's long-suffering, that's kind. Are you with me? That has the fruit of the Spirit. Amen? As we learned earlier, forgiveness is an antidote to needless suffering. Forgiving others is in your best interest. You're not helping someone else, you're helping yourself. Amen? You help, you're causing yourself to be free, and in you being free, you're helping others. Amen? Earlier we talked about the three steps we must take in granting forgiveness to the others. Remember, when we're giving, granting somebody forgiveness, what do we do? We acknowledge that a wrong has occurred. We, you know, why did we say that was so important? Because a lot of times, we've learned in this world, when somebody hurt us, to act like they didn't hurt us. You didn't hurt me. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, you didn't hurt me. I don't know why you say I'm sorry. You can't hurt me. No, 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 no. No, you hurt me. You know, you hurt me because I love you. And guess what? When you love somebody, they can hurt you. Are you with me? There's no anybody invincible here. Even the Lord Jesus Christ got hurt. And what did he say on the cross? Forgive them, for they know not what they do. What did Stephen say? Forgive them, for they do. Are you with me? You don't think it hurt him to get stoned with those rocks? Yeah. Life will cause hurt. Secondly, we recognize there's an obligation for repayment. We understand that there needs to be a repayment there. We don't excuse them from that. And then thirdly, we choose to release our offender from that obligation and to cover the loss ourselves through Christ. Do we see that Jesus paid it all? So you know what? I'm not even going to count it to your account. I'm giving it to the Lord. Amen? Let's go on to the next one. Now let's look at vengeance, the wrong perspective. Vengeance is what? Okay, let's say that together. Come on. Our personal for retribution against our offender. I want to get you back. Right? You know, we want to, if, if, if you're real, a real vengeful person, you know, that's the silent type is the worst. Because mm -hmm. I want to get you back when you least expect it. When you think it's all over. Oh, just wait, you know, when, when you're in need. So some people act like they, they've all tight with you and they're friends with you again. And then when you're in need. Remember what you did? Oh, I hadn't forgotten. Are those the worst movies that you see? When the villain acts like, you know, they're your friend? I was watching this show on Lifetime. That just tells you something right now. Because it's some of the craziest shows that come on Lifetime television. And we were sitting down, and I was like, we're going to turn them through. But, you know, you get caught. if you get caught in it, five minutes, you got to see. And this woman was Danny and the kids. She was acting like she's all for the family, but she was trying to kill the family. And I can't remember the name, but and it just it was just, just cynical, just vengeful. 
central. God wants to take all that away from us. He doesn't want that named in our hearts. All the while, you know, the lady eventually got called and arrested. It was a true story, actually. But she nearly lost her mind and was committed to asylum and prison because she was tormented what was, with what she thought was done to her years before. So she wanted to avenge, uh, uh, avenge the death of her father. Gave you this illustration last week. Years ago, a man was rushed to the hospital after contracting rabies from a dog bite. A cure had not yet been discovered, and he was going to die. He asked the doctor for a pen and paper, and the doctor said, I'm glad to see you're working on your wheel. And that's where you should be. You know, if you find you're going to die, you shouldn't be looking to try to hurt people, right? He says, no, this is not my wheel. This is a list of all the people I'm going to bite before I die. Some of us are like that. We get hurt, you know what? I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to hurt you before you hurt me. Are you with me? All the people that hurt us, oh, I'm going to find a way to come back and get you. Are you with me? Again, unforgiveness, like poison. Our sinful nature, most 